John Fitzalan, 1st Baron Arundel. John Fitzalan, 1st Baron Arundel, c. 1348 16, December 1379, also known as Sir John Arundel, was an English soldier. Lineage, 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 lineage. He was born in Etchingham, Sussex, England, to Richard Fitzalan, 3rd Earl of Arundel, c. 1313-1376, and his second wife, Elena of Lancaster, 1318-1372, daughter of Henry, 3rd Earl of Lancaster, and widow of John, 2nd Baron Beaumont. His brother was Thomas Arundel, Archbishop of Canterbury. His sister was Joan Fitzalan, Countess of Hereford. High Office John was appointed Lord Marshal of England by Richard Roman II of England in 1377 and summoned to the House of Lords on 4 August 1377 by writ directed Johanny de Arundel. He served as Lord Marshal until 1379. On 26 July 1379, he was given license to crenellate, i.e. permission to fortify a stone castle on the site of an 11th century earthwork fortress in Surrey. Over the years since then, the structure was rebuilt and remodeled and its remains are now known as Betchworth Castle. Naval Victory Being in command of a naval expedition in aid to the Duke of Brittany, he defeated the French fleet off the coast of Cornwall. Death at Sea Commanding a force with the purpose of bringing relief to the Duke of Brittany, Sir John was compelled to wait for stronger winds. During this wait he decided to take refuge in a nunnery where his men took no notice of the sanctity of the place and violently assaulted and raped those they found inside. Further to this Sir John allowed his men to ransack the countryside as they liked and to impoverish the people. When the force eventually set out to sea carrying with them goods stolen from a nearby church and under a pronouncement of excommunication from the wronged priests, the expedition was caught in a storm. Thomas Walsingham reports that during the panic of the storm, Sir John murdered those of his men who refused to make for sure for fear of being shipwrecked upon the rocks. Subsequently, after safely arriving on an island off the Irish coast, Sir John and his boat captain, were swept back into the sea and drowned. According to Thomas Walsingham's story, Fitzalan's men profaned a convent at or near Southampton and abducted many of its occupants. The fleet was then pursued by a violent tempest when the wretched nuns who had been carried off were thrown overboard to lighten the ships. The vessels were, however, wrecked on the Irish coast, near Scariff, according to some authorities, but at Cape Clear Island, according to others. Sir John Arundel, together with his esquires, and other men of high birth, were drowned and twenty-five ships were lost with most of their crews. Froissart's account of the event differs essentially from Walsingham's in the omission of the story of the desecration of the convent. Burial he was buried in Lewes, Sussex. He was also an ancestor to large part of Sussex population, including poet Percy Bysshe Shelley. Marriage and children. On 17 February 1358, Fitzalan married Elena Maltravers, Maltravers 1345, 10 January 1404-1406 daughter of John Maltravers and Gwenthin. They had at least five children, some references list more. Joan Fitz Allen D. Arundel C. 1361, September 1404. She married first William de Bryan, one son, and secondly Sir William de Etchingham. John Fitz Allen, second Baron Arundel, 3 November 1364, 14 August 1390, who married Elizabeth Le Dispenser. Richard Fitz Allen C. 1366, 3 June 1419. His daughter Joan married Thomas Willoughby of Parham, a grandson of Elaine Fitz Allen, daughter of Edmund Fitz Allen, 8th or 9th Earl of Arundel. Sir William Arundel C. 1369, 1400. He was a Knight of the Garter. 
Margaret 1372 7, July 1439, married William Rose, sixth Baron Rose of Hamlake, and had descendants. Ancestry.